Hi there. Let's um, have another bit of practice with parsing in Python using the NLTK package. In our last video, we used a small grammar for English. In this video, we'll make a grammar for Klingon. So as we saw a couple of videos ago, Klingon has a grammar that is the mirror of English. For example, here you have a PDF that is on your canvas with five sentences in Klingon. The first one is Dave drinks coffee. Dave. As you can see, the words are um, in the mirror image of what we'd expect for English. The words are literally coffee drinks Dave. So the noun coffee, the verb drinks, and the subject Dave, which is also a noun. So um, we have the verbal phrase at the beginning of the sentence, coffee drinks, and then the subject, Dave. So again, in Eng when we're in English, we have a subject, verb phrase. In Klingon, we have the mirror image, verb phrase, subject, coffee drinks, Dave. That's the first sentence. The second sentence is very similar. Uh, Dave. Earth goes to Dave. And the verb here means to you know, go to somewhere. It's just, uh, it works differently from the English verb. So that the direct object of this verb is the place where you're going, terra, earth. Um, it's again, a verb phrase with a noun and a verb phrase, and then a subject, a noun phrase. Noun phrase, uh, noun phrase, verb, noun phrase, verb phrase, noun phrase. Earth goes Dave. In number three, we have terra vechosh. I go to earth. Notice that Klingon has conjugations for its verbs. Same as Spanish or French or German, Klingon verbs change depending on who's doing the action. It has prefixes. So in Spanish and French and German, the conjugation is done with suffixes. In Klingon, it's done with prefixes. There's many languages on earth that do this as well. Swahili, for example. Um, as you can see, we have a prefix here, which is v, which means that I do something to it. I go to earth. So literally, earth, I go to, déjà, vichosh. This would be just a VP that has the noun phrase of the direct object and the verb. Déjà, vichosh. Number four has Klingon chul vijatlach I cannot speak Klingon. So this one has Klingon Chol. These are two nouns, Klingon language. And then a big verb, I, I, it, speak, can, not. I cannot speak Klingon. So Klingon has prefixes for the verbal conjugation, as in V, and it has suffixes for additional uh, functions of the verb. For example, lach means to be able to do something, to can do something, and be means not. So I, it, speak, can, not. I can speak Klingon language. So this would be the direct object, Klingon chol, and this is a big verb, bijat be. But again, it's a VP with a noun phrase, which is a noun noun, and then a verb. We have uh, number five, Klingon chol jat Dave. Dave wants to speak Klingon. Here we have noun noun for the direct object of this. So Klingon language, speak jat. And then we have another verb, want. He wants it to speak Klingon. Notice that to speak is the same thing we did in English with complement phrases. Uh, I want to speak. Nech, jat. So this is going to be a complement phrase of the verb want. So klingan chol jat is going to be a complement phrase. And then nech is going to be the verb of a VP that has a verb and a complement phrase. Klingan chol jat, nech. Dave. 
And these are five examples. Um, I recommend that you have the PDF as we go through the programming. Here's the list of words, so if you need to consult them, uh, here's the list of the suffixes, the prefixes, and the glossing rules if you want to figure out what these little uh, dashes mean. Okay, so we have here, again, some code in Python and LTK. Uh, the function to get the tree. We uh, we do want brackets because we want to use it with this website so we can look at the tree. And then we have a grammar that doesn't have anything right now. So the first sentence in our example is Dave. Dave drinks coffee. So um, with these instructions here, take a moment to try to write the CFG rules by yourself. You can do this in a piece of paper or you can uh, download the incomplete template and give it a try yourself. This would be great. Take a minute to read the sentence, to go through the example and through these instructions and make the rules yourself. Pause the video. Welcome back. So this should be something like this. Uh, the sentence is made up of a uh, verb phrase, coffee drinks, and then a noun phrase, Dave. Um, we, also, we need to define what a verb phrase is. And a verb phrase here is a noun phrase, which is coffee and then a verb, which is to drink, kluk. Mm, we need to define what a noun phrase is. A noun phrase is just a noun, Dave, and there we go. Uh, let me just scroll this down. We need to define what a verb is, and a verb is kluk, to drink. And we need to define what a noun is. And here a noun is Dave. So let's run this small grammar here and see how it goes. Ooh, I missed something. Oh, coffee, of course. Uh, I don't have the input word coffee. Kotvin. Uh, let's run it and let's give that another try. And we have a parsing. And let's put that here. All right, as you can see, Dave. Dave does what? He coffee drinks. Who coffee drinks? Dave, the subject which is marked with this noun phrase. So far, so good. It's working, again, as a mirror image of English. Notice that this language has these two as the mirror of what English would have. English would be noun phrase, verb phrase, Klingon is verb phrase, noun phrase. Like with the VP, uh, English has verb and P, eat pizza. Klingon has uh, the mirror image, pizza eat, coffee drink. All right, let's look at another example. Uh, Dave. Dave goes to earth. So please uh, follow these instructions think through them, look at the second second example, pause the video, and then we'll do it together. Okay, so let's see. We have uh, Earth goes to Dave. So we probably need another um, uh, terminal here for Earth and we need another verb. We already have this structure. Um, a VP is earth go to, and then Dave. Earth goes to Dave. Oh, look at this. And I added the terminals to go. He goes there and earth. I run it and lo and behold, I have a parsing. And I put it here and indeed, uh, what does Dave do? 
the sister node to the v, to the NP, which is VP, uh, Dave, Earth goes. Deja Roche. Who Earth goes? The sister node of VP, NP, Dave. A lot of information is encoded in these parsings. A lot of information that can be helpful for answering questions. All right, so far so good. Let's look at another example sentence, number three. I go to Earth. Deja Vechorsh. As we discussed it a little while ago, V is a prefix. We're not going to split them here. We're just going to consider this a big verb. So again, pause the video and then try to write the rules for these modifications. Uh, pause the video. Um, okay. So what do we need to do? We need a rule that says that a sentence is just a VP because this is noun phrase, verb. A sentence is just a VP. And we need to add a new verb here. I go to X. Let's run it and see if we can get a parsing. And we do. Let's see. All right, a sentence is a verb phrase. And what is the thing that's being done? Vechosh, I go. Who, um, where am I doing this? Uh, to what am I, I'm going? To earth, to the sister node of V. Deja, Vechosh. Um, you might be wondering, what, uh, what do I do with the subject? Do I have, uh, should I put some empty placeholder subjects? Should I put a, a subject with the features I, it? Those are excellent questions. And I urge you to take Linguistics 1 if you're more interested in them, because there's many proposals within Linguistics for exactly what we should be doing with this information. Should we put it out in an additional node? Should it be saved somewhere else in the representation? Uh, I invite you to take Ling1 if you're interested in those. For now, let's continue our parsing. Let's see, we have our fourth sentence. Klingon I don't speak Klingon. I, I'm sorry, I cannot speak Klingon. So you try to implement these rules. With these uh, modifications, make the necessary uh, modifications here. With these suggestions, make the modifications here. Pause the video. Klingon is what cha which losh fach. Okay, uh, so we have a direct object here, Klingon chol. It's a noun phrase, but it's a noun phrase with two nouns. Noun, noun. Same as in English, we had ice cream, hot dog, pineapple pizza. This is Klingon chol, Klingon language. So we need to add Klingon and chol, Klingon language. And we have that big verb, vejatlachbe. I speak, can, not. Mm -hmm. I think the rest is okay. We have uh, this sentence would be just this, a VP, which contains a noun phrase, klingan chol, and a big verb, vejatlachbe. All right, let's try to run it. And we can run it. Mm -hmm. So, a sentence with a verb phrase. What is the action? I cannot. I cannot speak. What can you not speak? Klingon chol. Klingon language. What's happening to Klingon language? It's sister note V. I cannot speak it. Okay. So far, so good. We have one to go. And as you can see. In this sentence, we are going to treat this as a complement phrase. The same way, the same thing we had in English. In English, we had, I like to eat pizza. And this complement phrase was the direct object of like. English also has phrases where uh, the complement phrase does not need the word to. For example, I like eating pizza. This would be the verb, and this would also be a type of complement phrase in English. 
That's the way phrases in Klingon work, complement phrases. So we have Klingon language speaking once Dave. So this is going to be a complement phrase composed of a noun phrase and a verb. And then complement phrase, verb, subject, which is a separate NP. So we need to, I'm just going to draw this closer. No, we don't need to. You need to. Um, you give it a try. Try to make this, try to add this to the instructions, add the necessary terminals, and let's see if uh, you can get the um, parsing to go. I'll pause the video. What? Cha. Which? Gosh. Bach. Welcome back. Uh, let's see. What do we need? We need to like, create a complement phrase, which has a noun phrase and a verb. And we also need to tell the computer that now a verb phrase can be one of two things. It can be a noun and a verb, or a complement and a verb. And these complement phrases are going to be a noun phrase and another verb. So we can fit here, klingan hol, jat, klingan hol jat, Nech, Klingan Nech, Dave. That's the sequence we're going to follow. Uh, I probably need to add the verbs, Jack and uh, Nech, to uh, speak once. Fingers crossed. All right. We have a tree. Mm -hmm. Klingan Holjat Nech, Dave. What is Dave doing? want to speak Klingon, uh, Klingon in the order of the language, Klingon speak once. So what does Dave, what is Dave doing? Klingon speaking once. Who Klingon speaking once? The sister of VP, NP, Dave. Who, uh, what do we want to speak Klingon? What are we speaking Klingon? That's parsing. That's uh, the parsing of a different language, Klingon. So as you can see, it's the same rules, just in different orders and with different combinations of the constituents. And this can help us parse any language, human or otherwise. In the next and final example, we're going to go back to a human language, which has a structure that is very similar to Klingon.